this is Zach Brooks with World Transplant Athletes, tips and tricks by and for transplant athletes anywhere, anytime, and online. If you have a body with a new body part and you can move, you are a world transplant athlete. As a two-time kidney transplant recipient and frequent participant at local, national, and world transplant games, I always wonder how do other recipients take care of their health and prepare for competitions? Well, for me, there's only one way to find out, and that's to learn from the most inspiring transplant athletes around the world. Today, I have Marco Mestrina from Italy. Marco, welcome to the show today. How are you? Hi, Zach. I'm very fine. Thank you for this opportunity. Yeah, absolutely. So we have five tips from you, but before we get to your tips, I have some warm up questions because I want people to get to know you a little bit. So the first question that I have for you is, which kind of transplant did you have? I have a kidney transplant. Kidney transplant. How long have you had the transplant now? 10 years ago, in the yeah. September 2011. What, uh, how old were you when you had your, your transplant? 30, 30 years. Okay. 30 years old. Well, congratulations. 10 years is a really, a really big deal. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So question number two is if you had only one word to describe your entire transplant experience, only one word, what would that word be for you? For me, it's life. Yeah. Because well, the I... transplant, the, yeah. the transplant is the real way to take the, my life into my hand after my disease. The transplant is the rear door to return to my life. Wow, that's excellent. Thank you for that. So the, the third question I have for you is, what was your first exercise after your transplant? Uh, I remember that when I was in the hospital, um, I walk after four days, of the, four days of the transplant, but uh, I, I had a, a secret okay in the hospital and uh, for me is the um, was the, the first tools for uh, the activity sports in the hospital uh, about uh, 12 days 12 days after the transplant and the 10 minutes uh, by day about mm -hmm. and i did uh, my exercise with my stand <laughs> and go in this this uh, cyclist uh, for uh, for keep my mo motivation to Overcome, overcome the transplant situation. Yeah, the beginning so, of the transplant situation. So you you walked a little bit. But your first exercise was on a little stationary bicycle for ten yes. minutes. Wow. Yes, ten minutes. You know, yes. Yeah. When I talk to other transplant athletes, when I talk to them about their first exercise after transplant, I'm always amazed. Like people say, "Oh, I walked, you know, 100 meters. You know, I walked 100 mm -hmm. steps." Or some people do you know, four miles or, you know, but I always think that like the first exercise is the most magical exercise because your yeah. body suddenly has this new energy and you, you got on the bicycle for 10 minutes, which is just, yeah. you know. I, I feel, I feel that my life uh, was begin another, another time after the transplant, another yeah. time after the transplant. Total, yeah, reborn. Was, was, was fantastic, it was fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. So the final warm-up question for you, Marco, is in which activities and sports do you regularly participate? I am, I'm, now I'm a volleyball player, but after transplant, I was a basketball player. And sometimes, I, now I still play basketball in the court to close my house with my friend. And uh, from... Uh, Last year, I begin to run, but I'm not a runner, a real runner, but I like sometimes to, to go to run. <laughs> yeah, so you, you run, but slow. Is that what you say? Say slow and uh, a bit distance. <laughs> okay. okay, very good. So the next part of the, the podcast, I'm gonna, um, let's get to your, your tips. So you shared with me your five tips for transplant athletes everywhere on how to you know, keep your body active. And I'm gonna read your tips and then we'll go back to the top of the list and you can talk about them in more detail. So okay. uh, tip number one is find people who are close to you 
with whom you can train on a regular basis. Uh, to keep motivated, you have to do consistent training. Number two, do a little bit of work every day. Number three, listen to your body. It always is good to try to you know, go past your limits, but we must always um, be very aware and to avoid injury. So I really like that tip already. Uh, the fourth tip is find a transplant team where you can share your story. So I really am interested in, in the sharing the story part. And number five, set your goals for yourself, such as playing a sport or running or some small competition, something like that. So let's go to the top of the list, Marco. So the first tip you have for everyone is find people close to you with whom you can train regularly. Why is that so important for you? Because for me, um, to do a regular activities, sport activities, you have to find the person close to you that keep the motivation high. Mm -hmm. Because if uh, we, have, we, are, we are alone, okay, we do a, a sport for one day, two days, three day, maybe for a month, but not for me for a long time. The people around you keep your motivation high and uh, help you to, to do a, a sport activity uh, regularly and uh, uh, have um, a, feel, a feeling with the, your sport activity. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I, so I like that one because um, I think your emphasis on that tip is, that, you know, you want to find people close to you. And that's extremely important because if, if they're close to you, then you have a better chance a better opportunity to be motivated. So it's yeah. a very good tip. So the second tip you have here is do a little bit of work every day. So tell us about do a little bit of work every day. Uh, for me is um, uh, a real um, um, way to do, to reach a, a great uh, uh, goal because if the goal is the glass, okay, we do a little drop every day in the glass. And uh, every day we can do uh, what we have like, what we like to do. But every day uh, a little bit, uh, walk, run, go on bike, swim, and the, the our body um, have a time to take a transformation and to have a um, new. Uh, opportunity to, to, to take a, um, a sport after transplant because our body is different after transplant they were able to 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 need and the, he needed the time the time to to adapt after transplant and every day we do our activities to to help our, our body to reach the the, the glass the feel yeah. of the glass the full glass of the weather yeah, no, I maybe, love it. I hope maybe it's clear. Yeah. Oh, I love, I love the, um, th thank you, Marco. I love the visual because it's, you know, you have a glass and every day just a little bit to get to the top of the glass. Yeah. I really like the visual. Is, and so do a little bit every day to fill up your glass. So thank you. And when the glass is, and when the glass is full, you can change, change the glass and take a bigger, <laughs> a bigger one. <laughs> and make a bigger glass. Yeah, that's good. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you start with a small shot and get to a bigger one. Okay. Okay. Very good. Yes. So the the third one, the third tip you have is, uh, and I really like this one a lot. Listen to your body. It, it's always good to try to exceed your limits, but we must always listen to our body to avoid injury. So tell us about why that has been so important for you. For for me, it's important because um, the transplant person is not. Um, uh, person that uh, had to to do um, uh, sorry. <laughs> okay. For me, the the, part, uh, the transplant person is a person that I have to do um, uh, activities. Okay, and uh, after transplant, we maybe some person think that uh, he they don't do anything, but we have to. Uh, exceed exceed this limit, mm -hmm. but we have to listen to the body because our body is our machine, okay. And if our machine is uh, broke, okay, we have to we we have to stay to stay um, stop it, and then we can do anything uh, mm -hmm. for reach our our goal. Sure. Uh, and uh, 
um, is important is important to to do uh, um, always uh, what the, the the body can 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 do. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I, like, I don't understand. Yeah, I really no. I, I love I love this tip, Marco, because um, it's such a smart tip because it's a balance between you know when you exercise, you need to push yourself. You, know, yeah. you need to try to like you have a limit, and every day you need to go a little bit more and you know more, when, more, more. Yeah, and I know for me when I first started, my first day was 100 steps. The next day was 120. You know, so it was a little bit more and. So mm -hmm. that, you know, you want to push yourself and be careful because you don't want injury at the same time. So I think it's such a smart tip for people because it is, it's important to do both. So it's really, really yes. smart. So thank you for that. Now, the fourth tip you have here, and I'm interested in this one as well, because this is like number one a little bit. So the fourth tip you have is find a transplant athlete team where you can share your story. So the first tip you had is find people who are close to you this one is find a team, a transplant team. Why is this one so important for you? It is uh, important because um, it's a little bit different uh, at, for, uh, from point one because the transplant people uh, have um, a similar story uh, of us. And uh, we can share our doubts about the transplant, about um, sport for the transplant people. And then we can share our story to confine the answer about uh, uh, our question, wh what we can do, uh, where we can do, uh, which, 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 um, which type of exercise we can do. Yeah. Because for, for example, for me, in the beginning of the, the time of tra after transplant, I, I don't know exactly mm -hmm. what I can do with my transplant. Mm -hmm. And, the, and the, uh, when I found the transplant pe people uh, and the, I can share my, my story, I discovered that I can do more activities that uh, I, I don't um, knew mm -hmm. in, the, in the beginning of the transplant. Yeah, totally. Uh, yeah. I, yeah, so it was really important to have someone who said, oh, you can do more. You know, it's okay. Yeah, you, you exactly. More. Yeah, but you, but you need you because it's normal to be afraid after the transplant. But if you talk to other transplant people, they say, no, you're, you're doing very good or be careful. Yeah. Yes, yeah, you need yeah, the other people yes. to help you with your own with your own balance. Yeah. Wow. That's that's excellent. Thing. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So then the final tip you have the fifth tip is set goals for yourself, such as playing a sport or doing a run or or something. So why has setting a goal been so important for you? For me, the goal is the important because we have to to reach a point where we discover that we can do this thing. And uh, uh, we, have, we have to keep inspired from an, another person so, uh, because we have to try to, try, uh, to reach the, our goal with our body, but with uh, our mind and our, and our soul. Because if the mind and soul keep positive and strong, the body uh, get better the sport activities. Yeah. Yeah, this is such a great tip um, because sometimes, and I, I mean, you know, sometimes I, I like to exercise, but if I forget maybe like how I'm feeling, I forget about my energy, I forget about my, my spirit, and then my exercise doesn't work very well. So it's nice to make sure that when you exercise, you have a connection between your, your soul and your spirit, you know, and your body. So yes. it's important to have these goals because you want to improve all of these elements, your body your spirit and your soul. Wow, that's fantastic, Michael. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. yeah, thanks so much. So um, this is, yeah, I, this is just fantastic. I really love, uh, I love doing this podcast. I get to talk to uh, my friends, uh, people I'm inspired by. And so thanks for sharing uh, everything today, uh, Marco. So um, for all the audience members out there in the world, uh, please log on to facebook.com forward slash world transplant athletes. World Transplant Athletes Tips and Tricks by and for transplant athletes anywhere, anytime, and online. If you have a body with a new body part and you can move, you are a World Transplant Athlete. Marco, thank you so much for being on the show today. Thank you to you.